Have you ever looked at the paper and saw an article on huge crime? Have you ever watched news on TV and saw the murder went down? Or have you ever watched a television crime show and wondered how they solved the crime? Hello, my name's Dr. Will Phil Bill Ill Hillman, and today we'll go over forensic science. To get started, let's turn on the news and see if anything happened. This is WYBM Channel 3 News at 8. Good evening. I'm Sam. I'm Ben. For those of you living in Astoria, you have had an interesting day. Yep. Someone has broken into 708 Hauser Street in Astoria today. The family at 704 Hauser Street called in the disturbance. Now what you saw was the crime scene. The yellow tape makes the scene secure. The ambulance was present to make sure the scene was safe. After the scene was made safe, the police can examine things. You probably did not hear it. The microphone is not so good, but a car just crashed out front. Excuse me for a minute. I don't know if you can see it, but a car just ran off the road and into a tree. Let's stop the document and continue in the morning, Dave. Sorry for cutting the tape like that, but a driver has been drinking at a party and tried to drive himself home. He ended up swerving into a tree because he said before he died, he saw a, scot a Sasquatch by the road. If you don't get anything else from this document, I hope at least you take away this lesson. Don't drink and drive, and drive carefully, and don't swerve. The guy did walk away from the crash and managed to stagger onto my porch and told me about the Sasquatch before he died. They will be performing an autopsy to see why he died, and most likely to see how much alcohol he had in his system. This would be considered a toxicology test. Again, I'll have to take a break for breakfast and to call my youngest daughter. I am Dave, the Hillman's butler. While Mr. Hillman and his family are away for the moment, I took the opportunity to use the drone to view the path the car took last night. They have not removed it yet. I have measured the skid marks on the road and came to the conclusion that the car was going approximately 53 miles per hour before the tree stopped it. The skid marks measured to be about 188 and a half feet. We can also use skid marks to see what kind of braking system the car uses, as in these photos. Last night, around 8.15 p.m., in front of the old Hillman Mansion on Lost Souls Road, a young man, aged 20, died. He was drinking and driving. Yes, Ben. The young man is now a grim reminder of the dangers of drinking and driving. The toxicology came back and he had over 0.08% of alcohol in his blood. The deceased also became the first in the area to have a virtual autopsy done with the use of MRIs. On a lighter note, a citizen from Pixley now faces charges for arson. The young lad traveled on the local train to the neighboring town and threw his still lit cigarette into a pile of hay on the station platform, waiting to be picked up. Luckily, the town's volunteer firefighters were there to greet their chief that was away on a trip. The CNFW Railroad is really pressing charges because it would have been the tenth time they would have had to rebuild the station since the 1965 fireworks accident due to the original chief of the fire department Ben, you shot me.
That's right. I shot you. You are so dull. I had to put up with you for ten years. I can't believe you finally did it. About time. Anyway, if the camera did not catch that interesting scenario, they would be using ballistics to catch Ben. Ballistics is the science of identifying a gun by the bullet fired from it. A comparison microscope would be used to identify the lands and grooves in the bullet. You want your chair back? No, you can sit there. You need some time to sit too, you know. Thank you, doctor. Hello, viewers. Name's Diane, and for those just tuning in, Sam Cooper was just shot by Ben Hooper. Sam is expected to survive since it's only a flesh wound and will return tomorrow. Well, that's disappointing. Dave, I am going to bed. See you in the morning. Lizzie, what happened to the window? Did you break it? No, this rat came through it. Lizzie, I know that the glass broke from the inside. How? Most of the glass is outside. The glass fell outside when the rock went through. Okay, I have a way to prove your story if it is true. Do you want me to do that? Yes. Okay, but if I disprove your story, you will be grounded for two days for lying. Deal? Deal. Dave? Yes? Can you collect the glass evidence? Be sure not to break any of it further. Yes, sir. Well, let's take a look at this morning's news. This is WYBM Channel 3 News at 7. Good morning, viewers. Name's Diane. The burglar of 708 Towser Street in Astoria was found to be our accident victim last on Lost Souls Road two nights ago. He was identified by fingerprint and DNA analysis. DNA was found in the house's kitchen when the guy helped himself to a snack. This evidence was collected on the first break-in. This just proves Locard's exchange principle even more. Ben Hooper, our evening announcer for 20 years, shot announcer Sam Cooper last night. Ben not only is facing charges for last night's incident, but for another incident. Ben is now facing charges for the murder of another anchor that used to work here. Ten years ago, that anchor mysteriously vanished. When police were checking out Mr. Hooper's house for anything that might explain this act, they found the bones of the missing anchor which still had the ID on it. Ben is suspected of keeping the body so he would not be caught. He will be going to be examined by a behavioralist that deals with these kind of cases. Not expecting that. Well, so far other sources have done what I was supposed to do. Anyway, when it comes to crime shows, the writers sometimes stretch the truth. Sometimes they even make up their own science. Some fake science is commonly used to this day. These pseudosciences also include astrology. Although between you and me, I believe it. Anyway. Dad? Yes, Mary? I heard about how the guy who died on our porch said he saw Bigfoot. Yes? So I went looking for evidence and I found a dead animal. Okay. How can I determine time of death? 
while one way would be through entomology, or the study of insects. But if there are insects on it, be careful. The insects can generate a lot of heat. Why don't you mark out where it is, and I will help you in a little bit. Okay. One thing we did not cover yet was a mass spec test. This test takes all kinds of substances and labels them. This test would be used to identify drugs and other things. Bad! Yes, Daisy? Is the big fight in our woods? No. Then what made this footprint? A plaster cast of the Sasquatch's big foot was made by Daisy Hillman. Doc Hillman is at the Astoria Memorial Hospital recovering from a brain overload due to his daughter's discovery.